art has to be something that represents you, the person within you in a sense. I mean, just like fashion, you know, you dress because you want to show how you are as a person. That's how I feel like music should be. You know, you make the music you want because that's you. You know, you, you, you give yourself to the world to listen to something that's like, okay, this is me, you know, this is my sound. I was actually supposed to be studying for finals and I didn't. I stayed up all night till the next morning putting together these books of poetry. And I was like, okay, like, let me just do something that'll fulfill me. And it was just really nourishing at the time. I have a day job and my day job is an engineer. But uh, when I take photos, uh, it gives me a chance to kind of express the creativity that I have in my brain. And it's an awesome feeling when you capture the right moment and you capture the right you know, time and, and everything is just perfect. And it's just a great feeling. My name is Abdul Rahim Bergara Sadiq. My name is Hatifas Yop. My name is Reggie Leviandra. I am an Indonesian American. And I identify as an Afghan Filipino American. I am a Cham American and I am Muslim. And I am Muslim. And I am Muslim. My parents arrived in the United States January of 1980. My dad flew out to the Philippines. My uncle introduced my mom. My dad ended up moving to the Philippines. He finally moved to the U.S. where I was born. My family and I, we moved here from Indonesia uh, back in 2001. It was just hard and it was a culture shock. Growing up as a Cham Muslim in America, very different, challenging, so many intersections. Normally, I would identify myself as a Cham Muslim whose parents are from Cambodia. And about 99.8% of the time, um, no one really knows what the Cham ethnicity is. So I would kind of have to break down that history, which is, you know, something I'm learning to embrace because when I was growing up, I always simplified it and just said, I'm Cambodian. A lot of what Cambodian folks experience doesn't really tie into what I, I've experienced as a child Muslim growing up. I really had an identity crisis because I didn't know where to identify the most. I didn't know, you know, if I should be considered an Afghan, if I should be considered a Filipino, if I should be considered a Muslim, or if I should even be considered an American, right? Because the American stigma is if you don't look this certain way, you're not an American. And if I were to consider myself American, they would be like, okay, you're disassociating yourself from being Filipino or from being Afghan. So I found a common ground between all three of these areas to be Muslim. Especially growing up, not that many people knew I was Muslim until like I actually say something about it or talk about it. It's crazy how Muslims are viewed in the Western culture or Western media. It's like, you know, when they think of Islam, they think of, uh, you know, Arabs, long beards and stuff like that. When like the most populated Muslim country is Indonesia. Another crazy thing is like just because a, a Muslim girl is covered up, does that mean they're, they're oppressed? Wearing a hijab is something that's always a challenge for me. I was eight years old. I was actually wearing my hijab to school the time when kids started asking me like, are you a part of the 9-11 attack? And that was the first time I've ever felt uncomfortable wearing my hijab. I feel like you should just wake up. Just wake up and actually understand the religion. Well, Islam to me is, is, is the heart of, of who I am. A Muslim is, in my opinion, is to try. Islam is a journey. Everyone's faith is a journey. Islam can be kind of taken into multiple areas of the world. It's open to all races and, and, and cultures. It teaches to be good to your wives and to be good to your family and to be good to other people, other religions. And it's a, it's a way of life. And the way that the, the media portrays it, it's, it's kind of sad. And it's, it's definitely uh, something that we had to grow up with. Uh, I just want to say that you know, Islam is a religion of peace. It's, it's a religion of love. In media today, I, I definitely feel like we're underrepresented. Like you always have stereotypes across all the media of Asian American or Asians in general being, you know, very fobbish, not well articulated, just the comic relief of most of the film. Being Asian American, it's important for me to say that, yes, I am in the film, I am in photography, and I am good at what I do. There's work that needs to be done. Keep doing you, you know what I mean? That the second you copy another person, you already lost yourself. There's not a lot of faces, not a lot of Asian people out there. Uh, my next series will actually encapsulate like my identity as a struggling Muslim, as an Asian American Muslim, 
um, also to kind of humanize that Muslims come from a very diverse background. What I would like people to know about folks growing up Muslim is that they'll always have a, a story to share about their identity. Um, so you don't have to nudge it out of them. And not one, two stories ever going to be the same. So just put in that little effort to learn a little bit about folks that come from different backgrounds.